The DevExpress ASP.NET Diagram Control provides a diagram editor to create professional diagrams online. You can import a diagram data file or bind the control to a data source. Every shape and connector property can be bound to data. The diagram provides a collection of predefined shapes that you can populate with custom shapes. Use the container's shapes to combine other shapes with the capability to expand and collapse them. In this video, I'll show you how to get started with the DevExpress ASP.NET diagram and demonstrate its basic functionality. I'll start by adding the ASPX diagram control from the toolbox onto the page. Immediately, I get a full-featured web diagram editor with functioning UI elements automatically generated. I can create a diagram or chart with a set of predefined shapes and link them with connectors. The side panel allows me to customize style, layout, and page setting. Let's create an org chart with the diagram control. I prepared a data source with organization structure data. Assign the data source ID to the node data source ID property. When the diagram control is bound to a linear data structure, you should add mapping information for a shape's key and parent key properties that allow the control to transform the linear structure to hierarchical. Additionally, I specify the text mapping. And we'll run the application to see the result. You can see that the control built a diagram based on the source data. When you bind the diagram to an entity data source and allow to edit a diagram, you should handle the inserted events to provide the inserted items with keys. Let's create custom shapes for departments. For this purpose, I populate the custom shapes collection with my shapes. A custom shape can be created based on a predefined shape type, or you can provide a custom background image. The type property serves as a unique identifier, so it must be specified for every shape. And I specify a category for the shapes. I'll add two more shapes. Use the settings toolbox property to add custom shapes to the toolbox. I add the general shape category and my custom departments category. When I run the application, you can see that the toolbox now contains my custom shapes and I can add them to the diagram page. I can protect my diagram from data editing and use the control for the data presentation only. For this purpose, set the read only property to true. It hides UI elements and prohibits the data from editing. Additionally, I'd like to hide page borders and grid lines. Now let's run the application. The diagram data cannot be changed. I can only change the display settings. Or I can export the diagram to an image. And that's it for this video. If you'd like to learn more about our ASP.NET Web Forms controls, you can watch more videos from our playlist or check out the documentation on our website. You can also subscribe to our channel for all of our latest content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.